impedance questions and answers okay welcome to today's class it's basically like a simple questions and answers on impedance that is resistance inductors and capacity elements okay so without wasting my time let's take the first question let's take the first question together a cord has r 12 ohms and l 0.1 henry it is connected across 100 volts and 50 hertz supply calculate a the reactance and the impedance of the core b the current and c the phase angle between the current and the applied voltage okay so i'm going to take the first question the parameter you can bring out of the first question is the reactance, which is 12, um, the reactance that is created by the resistor, which is 12 ohms, the inductor, which is 0 0.1 Henry, so that is the inductor, the inductors, 0 0.1 Henry, the inductor, and the voltage, which is 100 volts, and the frequency, which is what? Yeah. Now the question is, we should find the reactance and the impedance of the core. So we have to find the reactance. and impedance of the core. Okay. And you say the core is between a resistor and an inductor. So now, what happens is that to find the reactance, so the reactance to value will be the inductive reactance, which is L is equal to what? The omega F. The X is equal to the omega F. Now, I thought we established the fact that omega is only to dot one. 2 pi f. Do you get it? So, therefore, we can see the XL is equal to what? That is 2 pi fl. Now, you know the inductance, uh, we know the, what do you call the frequency, which is 50. So, therefore, we can find the XL as 2 pi, frequency is 50 times factor and that's 0 0.5, 0 0.1 10. Okay, so now, XL, when we do this, we are getting 31.416 ohm. That is the reactor. So, when we do this, we are getting the reactance to be this. Now, the question says we should find the impedance. Now, how do you find the impedance? We realize that when um, the resistor is connected in series with is connected in series with the inductor, the impedance is equal to Z, which is what? The XL squared plus what? R squared. So therefore, the impedance Z will now be equal to XL, which is 31.416 squared. Plus R squared, which is 12. 12 squared. So when you do this, we are getting this to be 33.630 ohms. So the impedance for this question is 33.630 ohms. Now, the B part of the question says we should find the current. So now we realize that there will be a sum amount of current that will pass through. And the B part of the question says we should find the current. So you know that V is always equal to IZ. I get it. So the voltage at the the resultant voltage is always equal to IZ. So when we did this one, we realize that it's always when this one can bring out the voltage across them. So it will be the main L. So the resultant voltage is always to go to what? I so we can find the current from that part. Okay, so now we, we can find current here, which we do what? Green on Z. And I have Z. I have the voltage, which is 100 volts. So we can therefore see it's equal to 100 divided by 33.630. And when you do this, you get 2.974 ampere. Okay. The last question says that we should find the phase angle between the current and the applied voltage. So the phase angle, that is the power equal to the current inverse 
of the inductive reaction divided by our, the resistive reactance. So inductive reactance SL, which was time as well. So that's equal to the time inverse of 31.416 all on the reactance, which is 12. Now when you do this, the far of the fixed angle becomes 69.09 degrees. Okay, so this is how the question is. Let's take the second question and look at how we deal with that one. A metal filament lamp rated at 750 watts 100 volts is to be connected in series with a capacitor across a 230 volt 50 hz supply calculate a the capacitance required and b you calculate the phase angle between the current and the supply voltage okay so now from the question we read that a filament lamp was rated at this, that is 70, 750 watt and 100 volts. And there was a voltage supply across a certain capacitor. And that voltage supply was 230 volts and 50 hertz. So now, we realize that you have, in the filament there is a resistor. So the resistor is connected in series with a capacitor inside. And the voltage across that capacitor was what we are using here, that's the voltage supply. Okay. So now the first question here says that we have to find the capacitance required. So the A part of the question says we should find the capacitance. And how do we get the capacitance? Recalling the formulas of here, we realize that instead in capacitance, the inductive react the capacity reactance is always equal to one over the omega t. So the omega here is known as what? The capacitor. Sorry, the t is known as the capacitor. So therefore, from this relation, that this c is therefore equal to what? Um, we want to find c over here. We can simply say c is therefore 1 over the omega and, um, times the inductive reactance, which is the same as 1 over omega is 2 pi f times the inductive reactance. Okay, so now from here, we don't have any idea about the inductive reactance, so we have to look for it. So therefore, we can say x. So this time we have, so this is the, let's say this is the filament with a resistor, a voltage is connected in series with the capacitor, VC, x. Okay, and then the second current comes. What happens is that Next thing, when we drew the diagram, the main arm and this is the VC, you can go back and check. And then the resultant voltage. We said one thing here that with this one, XC, sorry, VC is always I times XC. This is always I times XC. So that means from here we can find the XC. Okay. So now, Xc here will now be equal to Vc over Ic. Okay, so now if you find Vc, how do you find Vc? From this relation, what do we say? We said voltage square, or the voltage is always equal to the square root of V out square plus the Vc square. So how do you find Vc? So if you want to make this the subject, Vc simply becomes the square root of V minus the vein R squared. Okay, so now getting the VC as this, then here we can say the VC is equal to, what is the vein here? Sorry, it's really the vein square minus vein R squared. So the vein here is the supply voltage, which is 230 volt squared minus the V R squared is what we have here by the filament lab that's 100 volts squared. When we do this, we are getting 207.123 volts. Okay. So when you do this, this is what we are getting as a final answer. Now how do we get the current? 
how do we get the current? So the current which should be here, the current also um, IR is always equal to what? IC. So I've established this fact already when we are dealing with them. I said the current are always powerful. So when we connected the three of them in series, It is the same current that passes through. So the current here, which is the I, is the same as the current L, and it's the same as this is the I R, is the same as the current C. So the current that passes through the resistor will be the same as the current that passes through the capacitor. Do you get it? Okay. Now, the same current that passes through so the I R will equal to what? The I C. So if the I R is equal to the I C, then you can say from the relation of power. We say P is equal to what? I. And we are giving a power source, a power here. See? P is equal to I. Then we can say I, which is the IC we are finding. The IC we are finding will obviously be equal to P on what? On V. Do you get it? So now the IC here will be equal to the P R on V R. So the power generated by the filament lamp and the voltage of the filament lamp. It should have been IR, but we find the IR here. We've already established that it's the same as what I see. So now the P over the power is at 750 watt divided by the 100 root, which will give you 725 ampere. So therefore, since IR is equal to R C, then I see this is what 725 ampere. So now, if you get this, you can now come find our X. So now, our X is simply here to count what? VC, which is 207.123 volt divided by our 7.5 ampere. And our X becomes 27.616 ohms. Okay. We are not done with the first question, but the first stage, we should find the capacitance. Okay, so how do you find the capacitance then? Let me bring it here. This is the relation. So it is C equal to 1 on 2 pi F X C, which is equal to 1 on 2 pi. The F is the frequency of the voltage supply, that is 750, and the X is what we found here, 27.616. And when you do this, the capacitance value will be. 115 microfarad. So, you need to take a down value 115 microfarad. Okay. So, now the next question says we should find the phase angle. That is the V aspect of the question says we should find the phase angle. So, the phase angle simply becomes because of the series collection of position in it, it simply becomes the time inverse of the XP on R. Which is equal to tan inverse of um, the same as the tan inverse of the VC on V R. Okay, and I have VC as what? Two zero seven point one two three divided by V R, which is hundred. So if you do this, this one becomes sixty four point two three squared. So they are that is the voltage of this one is what is 100. So if you do that, that is here the VR. So if you do that, you are getting 64.23 degrees, and that will become the phase angle between the current and the applied voltage. I like you to get a lot of questions and solve them. If not, you can send it to us on the email you've been seeing already, and we hope you solve it. Have a nice day.